Walk 6 Sutton in Ashfield to Renneth or Rainworth. Now I'm not exactly sure what to say about this one. The sign on Stonyford Road tells me Renneth or Rainworth 6 miles. The first part is effectively a small extension to the Skegby Trail that takes us near enough to the Asda store at Sutton in Ashfield. The route then continues alongside the Junior School on Precinct Road, along an urban street and onto the Lawns Pleasure Ground at Sutton in Ashfield. Now to be fair, the first part of the route is not too bad. From the Lawns to the edge of the trail on High Oakham Road in Mansfield is interesting. Enjoyable and for the most part reasonably rural in appearance, considering that the whole time you are either in Sutton in Ashfield or Mansfield. A short stretch alongside the A38 Trunk Road between the Lawns and Kingsmill Reservoir is a little disappointing, but okay as you don't actually walk on the pavement to the side of the main road, but instead along a pathway set back from the road. You do however have to come down to the pavement level to cross the junction of the A38 and Coxmoor Road to get onto the access driveway to Kingsmill Reservoir, but this is only brief and merely a distance of a few hundred yards. The route through Kingsmill Reservoir and along the path until its exit on Bleak Hills Way onto I Oakham Road is a little more peaceful and interesting, especially after the hustle and bustle of the lawns which is always very busy on good weather days. The route however, known as the Timberland Trail, is ok, and it is sometimes easy to forget that for part of it you pass through a large industrial estate. At least the trail goes between the various units and not along the pavement although a few road crosses are inevitable. So far I was quite happy and relaxed, but disappointment soon set in as I exited the route onto Ioken Road, but could then find no other away from the road paths, and ended up walking them approximately the next three miles on the pavement alongside the main roads. Yes, the route does eventually take you to Rainworth or Renneth, following the signage, but don't expect too much countryside. I was glad that on this occasion no names was not with me. My daughter had decided to take him for a walk to the local car boot sale and had left the house before me. Good thing on this occasion, as he certainly wouldn't have been happy about taking off his walk on the leash and alongside the main road. He can be a very nervous dog and would hate the constant traffic passing so closely. Fortunately, from the Oak Tree area of Mansfield, we can then continue along the off-road trail called the Mansfield Way in relative peace to reach the final destination at Renneth. I believe you can get to Clifton using off-road routes from here. I'll check this out one day and report back. Phew, finally made it. Then I had to walk back. Hasten to add I wasn't too happy about the prospect and looked forward to getting back on the Timberland Trail at High Oakham. Fortunately, a swift half pint of cold lager at the Oak Tree Inn refreshed me ready for the least interesting part of the route. It was a red hot sunny day and I stripped down to shorts and vests, so a cold beer was most welcome. Some parts of the route, especially between Sutton Lawns and Kings Mill, is only suitable for walking or mountain bike, and I would advise against trying this small section with pushchair, pram or wheelchair, but the rest of the route is fine for any use. So to summarise, the first part of the route is fine, interesting and relatively quiet, apart from the lawns. I use the Skegby Trail, Morn Valley Trail, I'll cover this one later, and Timberland Trail. Last part between Oak Tree and Renneth is also fine, and relatively quiet and uses the Mansfield Way. I would advise to try these two as separate walks in their own right. The middle section, about 3 miles, between High Oakham and Oak Tree, along the main roads, well, don't bother. You'd have thought they would have at least passed part of the route through Burial Park. <laughs> no such luck. Do it if you want, but I certainly won't bother again with the whole route, but we'll split it up into two nice smaller sections. But as usual, pictures I took on the walk can be found on a relevant album on the trail trekking page on Facebook. So, take a look and I shall speak to you again soon. Thank you.